Oh, hi, everybody. I'm in a robe sitting on a regal couch that isn't mine, which must mean that we are doing a Valentine's Day date night video. <laughs> this is coming at you before Valentine's Day, getting getting ready with some date night inspo if you do so partake. Dan and I don't really partake in Valentine's Day or any kind of like marketed holiday, if you will. We're, we're the anti that. And we try to celebrate our love whenever we feel throughout the year. However, we're also trying to do more date nights and leave the house more than we have in the last, you know, two years. <laughs> so we actually had a little staycation in Toronto and we are in fact having a date day. We're having a date day, so I'm gonna get ready with you guys and hopefully for those of you looking for some date night inspo Girls night inspo or just makeup inspo or if you just want to sit and play while I do it Then here is the video for you the whole vibe I'm going for today is like some kind of burgundy pink smoky liner eye I'm really digging the smoky liner looks if you can't tell from the last few months of my content But I also just watched a Jamie Genevieve tutorial and I was we'll see how it goes. We'll see what we do I just dug into my makeup collection just wanted to play and get Get very like well naturally glammed and we've got a very exciting ooh outfit at the end thanks to the real real a very exciting new purchase I'll get to that later but first we are starting with the makeup guys I'm gonna be pulling out an old favorite it's been so long since I've used my beloved Smashbox photo finish primerizer a primer and moisturizer in one I don't know how many bottles I have used of these throughout the years bottles that I purchased myself bottles that Smashbox has continually replenished me with which is what happened recently they sent me a a loving, hello primerizer, I'm here, <laughs> package and restocked the collection. And I was so excited to have it back in my life. It was like visiting an old friend. So Smashbox, thank you for continuously keeping us moisturized and plumped with this. It is such a beautiful moisturizing primer. For someone with dry skin, this is just something that has been one of my tried and true primers for years. It really like fills in any of those dry cracky lines. It doesn't settle into any pores or anything like that. It totally smooths out your skin getting it prepped for makeup application. And it's just a beautiful layer to add on before you put your foundation. I usually do like two or three pumps. I love to just soak in this and I put it down my neck as well. <sighs> and it just feels so good. I missed you, Smashbox Primerizer. I like to apply a layer on if I'm feeling extra dry, which I am because we're not in our own bedroom right now and we don't have our humidifier. And it's kind of crazy now that we've been using a humidifier, how much more dry my skin feels when I don't use it. I'm, I'm becoming dependent, but I'm just <laughs> doing like one base layer. And then I'm also gonna take an extra pump and I like to add a little bronzing goodness. So I'm gonna take my Chanel Le Beige and I'm just gonna mix that in. I always love to have a like moisturizing primer and then something to kind of bronze, warm up my face, give a little glow before I put foundation on. That's just usually my standard sequence of events. A dream little mixture would be the Smashbox primerizer with a little bit of with a little bit of this, a little bit of bronze. Dear Smashbox, if you made this with a little warmth in it, Oh, different shades, different bronze. Oh my God, oh my God, that'd be so beautiful. That would be the dream, the dream primer product. And then I wouldn't have to mix any two products together. It would just be all in one. Anyway, I love to use that base and just put that all over the skin and also down the neck. I also try to slick my hair back. I've been trying to master the slicked bun. It's been a while since I have played with it, but I just can't do it. I can't do it. I need Armani to teach me how to do a proper hairstylist approved slicked bun, but if you're seeing any lumps and things. You know what? I tried my best. If you guys have any tutorials that you've watched on YouTube that have helped you with a slick bun, let me know. I'd love to watch it. For foundation, I'm going to use the Dior Forever Skin Glow. I have this one in the shade 2WO. It's got a really beautiful, beautiful finish. I really enjoyed playing with that. So I'm going to pull this out again, pat it around with my fingers, and then I'm going to use my beauty sponge to blend that in. It's just such a pretty radiant, radiant finish. And I really like using the sponge with it. I talked about that when I did my full face of Dior. If you miss my full face of Dior, I'll link it here for your viewing pleasure. The first time I used this foundation and it is gorgeous. We're gonna help our bag situation. I'm using the Tarte CC Cream, the under eye corrector that will never die. Seriously, I've had that thing for so long. It just, it just never, never relinquishes. I'm just gonna pat that with my finger underneath my eye. And when I do this, I pat it underneath my eye, but I also go right like, I don't know what that's called, the scoop of the inner eye. I press it right into the innermost section 
and kind of also blend it up onto the lid because that's actually where a lot of the darkness is for me anyway. And then I drag that down my bag. And then I'm gonna use the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. I have this in the shade 2N. I didn't really like this one under my eyes, which is why I'm most definitely layering that under eye corrector because it's much more creamy and hydrating underneath the eyes. But I'm trying to determine how I feel, like my final feelings towards this concealer. I'm gonna continue playing with it. I like how it feels. I like the promises it gives. And as long as I don't put it directly under the eyes, it seems to be dandy. So we're gonna play with it again. So for contour, I wanted to pull out my Tom Ford shade in Illuminate. It's been a while since I've used this and I was I was missing a little bit. So for this special occasion, I pulled it out again and I'm gonna use this to contour and also bronze. I did bring my regular bronzer if I felt like I needed more, but the nice thing with this is that it's very much a two-in-one. It's like warm enough that you could use it like your bronzer and contour. I also just recently washed my brushes and it is just shedding all over me. I'm gonna take a little bit of Benefit Hula, my Paldea bronzer, and just because I hairsprayed the living baloney out of my hair, I need to just like really lightly dust some powder up there. Because if I tried rubbing the, the cream bronzer, it would just, I mean, well, it's already, yeah, here we go. I'm gonna take a little bit of that bronzer just under the eye right now. It just kind of sets the concealer under there. And honestly, I just love the look of this particular color. I love Benefit Hoola, like on my lower lash line, like that. I'm gonna take it a little bit into the crease as well. For highlight, I'm gonna take the Dior, Dior Skin Nude Highlighter. This is Nude One. I'm gonna place that right onto the high points of my cheeks. Oh, it's so pretty. Down the bridge of the nose. On the cupid's bow. I'm just gonna pop that into the inner corner of my eye as well. For blush, I wanted to use this Nude Sticks Bahama Mama plush paint. This is like a multi-use product. You can use it on your lips, cheeks, and eyes. And so I'm just taking some on the back of my hand. This is a really beautiful kind of like deep nude shade. And I'm gonna take my beauty sponge and just press that into the cheeks. I'm gonna go ahead and magically fill in my brows and I'll be back with you when I'm done. So some eyebrows have magically appeared. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the eyes. I'm feeling a little bit scared for this moment. It will be an adventure. I'm gonna start off with the Victoria Beckham Signature Palette. I'm just gonna take a little mixture of this brown and this right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this to deepen up the crease. We already had some bronzer action on there. So I'm basically just gonna map out where I'm gonna potentially want to do some liner. So I'm just tracing from the outer corner of my eye to my brow, and then essentially just dragging that into my crease. Okay, so now for the uh, magic attempt. Here's the thing, Jamie Genevieve, when she did her smoked liner, she did this magical thing where she, she drew the liner on and then just smudged it out with a brush. It looked so easy and effortless, and I have a feeling that it's not gonna be so easy and effortless for me, but I kind of wanted to try that, a true smoked out liner. So I've grabbed Victoria Beckham Bordeaux, this, this lovely like deep burgundy pinky color, and we're gonna try. We're gonna try this little technique. So what I'm gonna do, huh, ugh, okay, this is such a creamy liner. What I'm gonna do is, is take this liner and apply it, <laughs> and then I'm going to, well, literally smoke it out. So I'm just taking this small brush, and I'm gonna flick it, I'm gonna wing it. Oh, well that was, that was a little bit easier than I anticipated, honestly, okay. I guess it helps when the liner is so creamy and it doesn't really set, like you have so much play time with this. And I'm just gonna take my finger and kind of press along the bottom to sharpen that edge. Wow, okay, Jamie Genevieve, thank you for this knowledge, look at that. Wow, wow, okay, I feel like I need to deepen this up a little bit, just right here. Before I ruin it further, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this eye as it is. I'm gonna let this liner dry and set because it is very wet. I'm gonna give it a moment and we're gonna try it on the other side. I'm happy with how it looks. It it was much more pleasantly easy to do a messy little smoked liner like this than I thought it was gonna be. So Jamie Genevieve, 
thank you for this moment. I'm gonna go back into the eyeshadow palette and just take that same brush, dip it into like these two browns here. And I'm just gonna so lightly press that right onto the base of this liner and kind of the, the base of the shadow. Just because these, these liners are so creamy, I don't really trust it to not move. So I'm just placing that right at the base here to make sure that it sets in and then to add like a little bit of a deeper effect for the lashes. Okay, now for some fun sparkle. I'm gonna take this Urban Decay Cat Call liner. Pink liner inspired by Valentine's Day. And I'm just gonna place that right on the inner corner and kind of blend it like into the liner. It almost gives it like a little pink wet look on the lid. All right, then I'm gonna go in with mascara. You can use lashes if you wish. I'm gonna put tons and tons of coats of this on the top and kind of like pulling it outwards following the line of my liner. So now for lips, I brought a few options because I wasn't sure really what I was feeling, but when I play, I kind of want just like a light, a light glossy pink lip. So I'm gonna take my Victoria Beckham lip liner first. This is in the shade two and just line the lip line. And then I'm gonna use this Bite Beauty Tatin, Tatin Power Matte Lip Crayon, to the really nice creamy pink. Mm -hmm. Kind of mixing that into the, the liner shade. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this Patrick Ta, I know, a shimmery lip gloss, who am I? This is She's Expensive. And I'm going to just place that on top to give it a little, little bit of a sparkly, sparkly glossy moment on top. And completely ruin the wand. What do you do there? I don't know. A little spritz of my Lila B. Oop, a glow, face mist. And my good friends, this is the finished makeup look. So pink, so bedazzled, so, so lined. <laughs> Am I Valentine's Day? So that's the makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed and show you guys the full final look and talk you through my outfit too. All right guys, so this is the outfit in its entirety. I'm trying my best, my best Rosie Huntington Whiteley pose here. And uh, this is the, this is the full look. Little jeans, little heels that I can't walk in, but that's why we're going to sit at dinner. <laughs> Makeup's done, outfit is on. However, the highlight of this outfit is this new pouch bag. Ah! My beautiful oversized croissant. I am so excited about this bag, you guys. I have been lusting, if you will, over it ever since Rosie Huntington Whiteley donned it in every single one of her Instagram photos. I'm obsessed with her, I'm obsessed with this bag, and I'm so excited that I got a huge major discount on a brand new bag. I don't even know, I don't know who parted with this. We're gonna have to have a conversation, but I thank whoever did. Um, I got this bag off of The Real Real. If you guys don't know The Real Real, they are an online consignment store. They sell thousands and thousands of luxury goods at a huge, huge discount. You can get up to 90% off of Bottega Veneta, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Celine. Some of my favorite bags and pieces that I have in my wardrobe are from The Real Real. It is a sustainable way to shop pre-loved luxury goods for a very, very discounted price, which is always very exciting. So if you're looking to purchase any item in particular, you can search by item on The Real Real. You can search by brand, designer. They have pre-loved pieces. They have some pieces that are brand new with tags and in the box, like this bag that I... <laughs> It was brand new in its dust bag in perfect condition. So you can shop by condition as well. But if you have your eye on any kind of luxury piece, you can search it on the real real. You'll most likely find what you're looking for. And if you wanted to shop with a $25 discount off of your first order, definitely check the link in my description box down below. It'll take you to the real real and you get $25 off of your first order. If you want to sign up and check out the beautiful pieces that they have on their website. So the real real, thank you so much for giving me the bag of my dreams. I am so excited about this. I feel Feel extra snazzed and croissanted to go out for Valentine's Day. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you do end up recreating this makeup look and trying this smoked out liner moment, definitely tag me. I want to see your guys' looks. I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!